When Black Ops 6 was announced, I was really, really excited. I was watching that Xbox presentation and thinking to myself, wow, this might be the first ever Black Ops game that I will actually play more than two hours, you know. This game looks actually amazing. It felt like the Black Ops franchise is getting that much, much needed makeover that will push Call of Duty to new heights, like Modern Warfare Reboot did back in 2019. I was really excited to play the beta and actually play the full release. Now after playing the beta and trying my best to practice and learn all this new Omni Movement mechanics, do I still feel the same way? No, I don't. But not for the reasons you might be thinking. I legit don't like this game and I'm not actually that excited anymore. I'm actually extremely disappointed. So Ray, we played Black Ops 6 Beta. Tell me yeah, about I it. Yeah, I, 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 I played it 10 years ago and it's no different. But before I continue, let me give you a list of my favorite first-person shooter games. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, Battlefield 3 Medal of Honor Warfighter, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, Titanfall 2, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 2142, Warzone 1 with Verdansk. Now, of course, I do enjoy other first-person shoes, but these games usually are my personal gold standard, and that list of games should tell you what I'm usually looking for in my other FPS games. I don't care if the games are futuristic or modern, but I do care if the games are a bit serious in their presentation, regardless of the setting, and I do like games that let me express myself with the gameplay mechanics without being too slow or very milsim like and the things I will talk about Black Ops 6 in this video is my experience from the beta. So yes, something might be broken or not working correctly, the game is technically still in development. But there's certain things that won't change when the game will come out. The maps, the gunplay, the aesthetics, the whole philosophy behind this Call of Duty game. A lot of YouTubers out there making videos about game mechanics, gun balance, tiny things that 99% of the player base literally doesn't care. Because this is just another Call of Duty game and they just want to know what's in it. And the way I make my videos, I try my best to make it evergreen as hell, so it should not matter if you click on this video a year later after Black Ops 6 release because I want this video to be valuable in the long run. So when it comes to Black Ops franchise, I don't like any of the games they released for various reasons. After the original Modern Warfare series, Call of Duty was kind of a joke to me and I was already playing Battlefield games on a religious level. So Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, they were all jokes to me. I did not take them seriously and I would, ne I would never consider playing them because they just like, they never looked fun, they, they, I played the betas, I played the free trials and everything, I just did not enjoy those games whatsoever. A, a lot of things happened in the decade. I mean, a lot of things happened. I mean, crap. Both both of us, I think, were, like what, started playing Call of Duty. We were, we, you know, <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, back in the day, like 2014, like 16, whatever. Battlefield One, Battlefield Four, or even Battlefield Three. I was like, why would we play Call of Duty? Hell no. Yeah, well, like, yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, why would you play this game? Why would you want to go and play? like? Even Black Ops Cold War with Warzone integration could not make this game enjoyable to me whatsoever, because it was clearly a rushed product that looked terrible visually and the whole gameplay loop was basically another Call of Duty game. It was not exciting and not interesting. We've done that, we've seen that. Games like Black Ops Cold War was the reason why I moved away from Call of Duty to begin with. Black Ops 6 though, a game that was hyped to infinity and beyond with reportedly 4 years of game development, I was freaking ready to play the beta. New engine, new mechanics, Warzone integration, there's so many things to be excited about. So after playing for 2 weekends and reaching level 30, which was the maximum level you can reach in the beta, let me say this. Mechanically, I think this is the best Black Ops game to date. So-called Omni Movement is a very nice addition to the franchise, the whole Call of Duty franchise. The idea that you can sprint to any direction, slide to any direction, basically being free in your expression of how your character moves. It basically reinforces the idea that Call of Duty is a fluid and responsive FPS game. I tried my best to reconfigure my controls on mouse and keyboard to make Omni Movement as easy as possible. Because I do want to slide backwards, I want to sprint sideways. And when you finally retrain your muscle memory to accommodate that, the game is flowing unbelievably well. And you feel good about getting better at this movement. Easy to get into, hard to master, and that's usually the best approach to accommodate every player with different skill set. And the best thing is, let's say you don't want to be a sweat lord or a competitive tryhard. You don't really need to use Omni Movement to enjoy this game. This is an evolution to the franchise, not a revolution. This is still a Call of Duty game that you love and you always loved, even without using Omni Movement. You will not feel lost. And you can still play good and have fun. But that's where my positives end. 
So why I dislike this game so freaking much that I was bored of it in the first half of me playing it? And before I continue, let me say this, that everything I will mention in this video is very subjective. There's probably a very artistic reason why certain things are the way they are. The game is taking place in the 90s, the game is not taking itself too seriously, they're trying to replicate that goofy 90s movie aesthetic, I get that. And it will be fine in a vacuum. But this is the sixth Black Ops game in the franchise, we had a Call of Duty game coming out every year for the last 20 plus years. We can't really judge it without context. And of course, it's just my opinion, I recommend to watch other YouTubers to get a proper, you know, opinion about this game and so on, because I'm coming to this from a very biased perspective. So let me start with the maps. My f god, these maps are so freaking bad. Also, maps are garbage, every map is shit. Yeah, I hated the maps, I'm not gonna lie, they were so just, everything was so condensed, it's like rust all all day, every day, all the time. Every single map we had in this beta are small, claustrophobic, brain-dead level design failures. I was thinking getting 5 shipments in one season for Modern Warfare 3 was an overkill, but Black Ops 6 takes it to the next level. Multiplayer players always complain that multiplayer section of Call of Duty is just an unlock simulator for your guns, so you can go back to Warzone with your fully kitted loadout. Oh boy, this game is literally the perfect manifestation of that idea. Yes! 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 Uh, Let's go! 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 He has no interesting flanking routes, no unique ways to traverse the map because everything is so compact and small, basically all kinds of shipment and nuke towns smashed together into one pile and just here you go, Black Ops 6. And even though all these maps are based on different locations like West Virginia, Iraq, a blockbuster store, a mining cave or top of a wannabe skyscraper, even then every single map is dull, boring, has no soul, oversaturated or undersaturated and they literally have no life to it. I feel nothing playing on these maps. If you removed all the textures and told me these maps were originally designed for some Call of Duty game back in 2010, I would actually believe you. Someone mentioned if Black Ops 6 was an inferiority ward game, people would go for their throats because this is Triarch. For some reason, they're getting a pass. And I have to agree with that opinion. I don't know why Triarch is getting a pass regarding these maps, unlike Infinity Ward. On top of that, I don't know what's with the Triarch's game design philosophies, but even with the new engine at their disposal and unbelievable talent they have making these games, how they manage to make the games look so cheap and plastic, I don't understand how they achieve that. You can tell, visually the game is very detailed, a lot of artistry is being applied here, like a lot of talented artists are working on these games, but somehow, somehow everything looks extremely low effort. I can't explain it because it's art, art is subjective, but the guns feel too big and too bulky, the locations look like paintball arenas and they don't feel like real life locations that, you know, people would be there. They just don't feel real, they just, they just fake, it feels fake, you know, it just doesn't look right. Like you have this new engine, you can flex on it, but they decide to go with this game design that is so f***ing outdated. Something looks too big, something looks too small, your character is floating across the map like he's skiing. And yes, I know it's a Call of Duty game, I know, I've been playing a Call of Duty game for thousands of hours, I know. If you played X Define, you probably know what I mean, it doesn't feel like your character is part of the world you're playing in, because those things just don't blend well. It feels like extremely fake and it, our brains subconsciously just pick that up, that something doesn't feel right, the map doesn't feel right, the, the player characters do, don't feel right, they, they, just like the character and the world just don't blend together and they don't feel like they're part of the world. And that's how Black Ops 6 feels to me. And speaking of characters, starting with Black Ops 3 I think, Triarch started follow this formula for creating the characters for Black Ops games and the formula is basically stereotypes. It's obvious, they don't have a purpose, they're just there for this one purpose that, you know, it's... The most obvious example would be Garcia, that literally sounds and acts like this. Landing zone mark! Rally on that vehicle. Eyes on enemy. Tagging supplies. Field upgrade here. Someone collect that LMG. Field upgrade here. Meet cow rounds located. Sniper rifle. Go get it. Tactical Granada. That's racist. Your soul! That's racist. Hey there, amigo, wanna go kill some commies? Let's get some tacos after that. And as we read his bio, of course he was part of some gang. Of course! Then we have Beck. German? Calm? Of course. And he's on the Warsaw Pact, aka the bad guy's side. 
Of course! Literally a character taken from the Inglorious Bastards. I'm not even fucking kidding. On the good side, we of course have Helen Park, who is about to have a cup of tea with Her Majesty the Queen. And I can go on and on and probably make it actually make it worse than it seems, but the point is, these are not characters. These are stereotypes. Stupid stereotypes that basically shows how American people think how the rest of the world looks according to their eyes. Evil Russian guy, a hot British female, an American engineer that knows everything, a token black dude and so many more. These are not characters, these are just stereotypes to complete your checklist for whatever game release you're doing. I was hoping that Black Ops 6, a game that looks somewhat serious in its presentation, will try to have some serious characters that are not stereotypes. But sadly, that's not the case. And they all ugly visually, literally ugly looking characters. Now them are very appealing to me. It's again that feeling of Triarch making their games look cheap and plastic and I really hate this aesthetic they're going for. Maybe it's a tactic to make people buy more skins to make the characters less ugly. I would not be surprised if that's how Activision thinks sometimes. The in-game menu and the in-game HUD looks presentable, sure, but something about it is very ugly and cheap. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of effort was put into, even though I know that's not true, but that's the aesthetic they went for, but the aesthetic itself doesn't blend well. And I don't think the excuse that it's the 90s is good enough. They clearly want to replicate the Black Ops Cold War feeling because it's a sequel after all, and they all kinda achieve that I guess. Black Ops 6 is definitely a better Cold War game, that's for sure, that's not, I'm not even gonna argue about that. And some people might think, okay, what about the Camel Grind for example? You know what, I've finished every Camel Grind that happened since 2019, except Black Ops Cold War and Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 3 made me realize that it doesn't matter, no one cares because as times go on, we will get new camels every month that are more interesting and more unique than any Mastery Camel we will be getting in Black Ops 6 multiplayer. And they already showed the Mastery Camels, and I'm honestly... I can assure you, all the mastery camels we have right now in Black Ops 6 multiplayer, you know, including Warzone and Zombies, they don't look interesting. And we're gonna get so many better camels as time goes on. And the thing with camels, they meant something back in the day. They were, they had a meaning, you know. When you saw a player with a camel and thinking to yourself, oh, he grinded his ass off to get that camel. But now it doesn't matter. We have so many camels, so many different aesthetics for our guns and everything. It mastery camels don't mean anything anymore. It's just another color on your gun. That's kinda it. Do I sound very negative about Black Ops 6 and some people think I'm being too harsh? Maybe, but that's how I feel about this game. It's another Call of Duty game, a game that we played 10 years ago with the same gameplay loop and everything, the just fancy graphics. The gameplay was not exciting to me, the aesthetic is not visually pleasing, I see nothing here that is revolutionary or interesting enough for me to care beyond my weapon levels that I will take with me back to Warzone. And speaking of Warzone, this game is more exciting to me because of all the positives I spoke about this game that are moving to Warzone. Omni moving to Warzone in Verdansk while I use my old Modern Warfare weapons and camos, let's go! And because this always is coming to Warzone, such a big learning curve now and I kinda love that because I have to learn everything from scratch now and perfect it. it well, perfect it to a way, to a level I want it. New Call of Duty HQ menu for easier navigation? Yeah, I love that. New and simplified gunsmith with our gazillion attachments including radical customization? Fantastic! All of this is exciting for Warzone, not Black Ops 6 multiplayer. And that's the thing, multiplayer arena shooters these days are very boring. It's really hard to be interested in these type of games when we already played so many of them and it's very unfortunate that Triarch still thinks that people are interested in your generic very arcadey multiplayer experience. I'm sorry, but majority of people don't, and people that do, they still play the older games to get that experience they desire. They usually wait for the sale to buy your game. And of course, don't get me wrong, the game will be the best selling game of the year. Game Pass subscriptions will go up and hardcore Black Ops fans will think this is the best thing ever since slide spread. And that's fine. It's just this game is not for me, I just don't enjoy the shipment and nuketown type of multiplayer experiences because I consider that type of gameplay to be brain dead. It's not fun, it's not exciting, it's not even stimulating anymore, and camo grind itself became extremely boring. Getting a mastery camo is not hard, it's just a bit of dedication and patience to grind on nuketown. That's all it is, sadly. No one cares about winning, no one cares about actually enjoying the multiplayer experience for 
of two teams fighting for something. It's just random particles colliding until we have a winner, while random big numbers flash in front of your screen to say that you leveled up your weapon. I was very excited for Black Ops 6, I generally was, but after playing the beta and getting the familiar with, you know, with the mechanics and the maps and everything the game has to offer, this is just one month purchase of Game Pass for me. And as soon as Season 1 will drop, I'm going back to Warzone and I will enjoy the new mechanics to its full potential. Unfortunate, but we will see how it goes, especially when the post-launch maps will start coming in and see how the game will shape up. But I don't think it's gonna be something amazing. No early access to Black Ops 6 single player, so that basically means I'm never gonna play the single player ever because I'm not a fan of the characters to begin with. Like, uh, like I said at the start of the video, I was not a fan of the Black Ops games originally, I did, did not enjoy the single player games that much, and this is no different. Yeah, that's kinda it, that's all I want to mention about Black Ops 6, it's just... A game not for me, maybe I'm too old or whatever, but even though I play Warzone somewhat on a <laughs> wannabe competitive level, I don't mind sweating and being a sweat lord. But multiplayer is not it for me. Black Ops 6 multiplayer is not it. That's It's kind of unfortunate. But Warzone is looking great. But on that note, thank you guys for watching my video. Leave some comments and likes or dislikes if you if you literally hate my guts. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash soldier, where me and my friend make some amazing exclusive content. And yeah, that's kind of it. I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Don't be a douchebag. Have a good day.